Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks again for joining us today. And today I have a short demonstration for you of how to add audio to your website in Wix. Okay, so how to allow the user or the viewer of your site to play some music. Okay, so that will be um, placed on your website somewhere. So the first thing that we'll need to decide is where we want that to exist. I'm just going to place it here for today's demonstration purposes. There's a number of different audio players that we're going to make use of. Some of them are quite small, some of them are quite large, okay? So um, you'd need to sort of make that decision of where they're going to be housed first. Um, so if you go to the top left-hand corner in the website editor and then hit Add Elements, around about a third of the way down is the um, video and music option, okay? So that's where you want to go to. And under here, like I said, it allows us access to some different players, okay? So the idea is that audio is added to the website as various players. Um, so you've got the ability here to link audio from a number of very popular platforms, obviously iTunes, Spotify, SoundCloud. Um, they kind of cover some of the biggest bases there. If you want to link MP3 audio from another source, which is online, you would do that through the generic audio player, okay? Um, you've also got then uh, the Wix music library, um, which you can give access to as well. Um, but primarily, I'd imagine that you'd be using in, using the audio player option, okay? So, um, but if you need to link from your iTunes or Spotify or SoundCloud to a song on there, you can do so as well. So I'm just going to go for audio player. And this top one is the, the one I like the look of the most. You can have smaller looking ones, more um, you know, inert, I suppose, less of a presence on the page. And you've also got um, you know the ability to see what the other players would look like down here as well. And like I said, you know, some of them are quite, um, they'll occupy a little bit more space on the page than others. Okay, so... That's the one I want, and I will single left click that and drag it onto my page and place it where I want. Okay, so you can see that that just it looks like a generic audio player. It's got a play button, sort of time there. And obviously the first thing we'd want to do is decide, you know, what music we want it to play. You do that by accessing the change track button, and then you can either, like I said, get it to play one track, which you upload or an external mp3 from a url okay so they're the kind of two options that this audio player will give you so if you've got an mp3 that exists somewhere google drive or whatever you can add a link to that there okay and it's, it literally just pasted in like so if you want you can upload um from your local computer obviously it is just as simple as hitting upload media there um, it also then allows you to link to these different platforms here as well, okay? So if you've got something that you want to upload to Wix from Drive or wherever you need, um, obviously I'm going to go for computer today, upload from my local storage. Let's see what I've got here. Um, there you go. There's something there, an MP3, just randomly, just to show you. That should then, in a couple of seconds, appear here in your library, okay? So that's my media library. As you can see, it's very quick to process MP3. So that's 12 megabytes, and it uploaded and processed very quickly. Got a couple of options there. You can kind of move it around, copy it, you know, if you want to do some organization. Make sure that you've got it left-click selected once, okay, so that it's got that outline around it, the blue box, and then hit Add Track there, okay? That will then, as you can see, display the title of that MP3 in the player, okay? So... um. You can here give, you know, some specific information here if you wanted it. If you think that title's a bit long, you can't really see it that well. I mean, you'd have to kind of stretch the player out a little bit to, to see that, which you can do so with those little spheres there to resize it. It obviously doesn't go up and down, just left to right, this one, okay? So it's not um, tiered. Um, and you can see, you know, how that will look, okay? So you've got some options here, whether you want to just play it once or in a loop. And then you've obviously got some... Um, further form options, uh, player options, excuse me, here to access as well, okay? So once you've uploaded it and you're happy with those, um, if you close that, you've got the settings button here, the little cog, um, sorry, apologies, the layout button, and that will then allow you to decide what information is displayed, okay? So if we don't want the artist name for whatever reason and we don't want the track name, you know, you could make it quite inert, really, quite, you know, low visibility, 
Um, you could even take the progress bar off as well and the timestamp and just have a play button. Um, there's the ability to kind of show and hide the image that's associated with that MP3 as well. So you can really quite, you know, strip it down quite a bit. Um, I'd imagine you'd want it to look like that, you know, like a normal player. You can also have it as a giant icon there. Okay. One thing I, I sort of um, negated to mention as well is that you've got the ability, if you turn the classic look back on so we can see the image, to change the image for that as well. So if you've not got an image associated with the MP3 or you want to kind of put a custom thumbnail there, you can do so there. Okay, so just that choose image button and you can link um, to any media that you've got already. As you can see, there he is saying hi. And then um, you could also upload just like we did with the MP3 player as well, uh, with the MP3 as well. Um, if you want to kind of stylize it a little bit then, once you've done the kind of technical stuff, that you access that through the design button, you've got the option um, to kind of change the fill color and kind of make it more opaque so you can see through it and dictate how wide uh, the border thickness is and the op opacity of that as well. You can round off the corners add, and stylize the font as well, you know, so you could, you could kind of make the font appear a bit larger or a bit smaller in bold or whatever you want as well, okay? Um, and that pretty much covers it then. You could also animate it, you know, appearing when the when the person first navigates that area on the page or where they first see it that just kind of allows you to select how it comes in i normally keep stuff on then um and that concludes our video tutorial if you need professional one-on-one -on -one custom support from wix experts then click the link in the description below even if you need a complete rebuild or redesign of your site the support team of wix web developers is here to help you if you find this video useful, then please make sure to like and subscribe for more website tutorials, as well as comment below if you have any video requests for future videos. Thanks.